from the culture of the American South, where roots hold stories, comes a natural deodorant inspired by generations of wisdom. Introducing Root Work, the all-natural foundational Black American-based deodorant infused with the magic of High John the Conqueror root. Our unique blend enriched with this legendary root offers 24-hour protection rooted in the power of nature. Embrace this deodorant that celebrates culture, history, and your well-being. Unlock the magic of root work today. Experience the pure essence of nature. Visit rootworkstyle.com and make the switch to a healthier cultural choice. Dr. Louisa, whatever your name is. No, no, Dr. Luz de Jesus. How are you? I'm good. What was was that sound? I I don't know what it was, but it was a sound there. Um, the benefit of the of the information um, in regards to the the effects of colonization, the benefits and non benefits. Um, I'm from Puerto Rico. Um, we are in the stages where we have um, suffered also the profound division of the colonization. Okay. Okay, and as um, mixed person with African and other countries, um, we understand uh, your your concerns and everything that you have spoken. And the gentleman that spoke a little while ago, I really commend him for that um, because, because it's very that we understand what happened. African um, did impact the, the movement the cultural movement in the world, uh, but they also lost their identity. Okay, yeah, okay. I'm she. I'm having trouble. I don't know what she's saying. She's. I have to let her go. I don't know what she's saying. Shit. I'm trying to rock with her, and she's just not getting her thoughts out fast enough for me. Um, Marjorie, you want to get on? This is the fake Marjorie account. You want to get on? Okay. Hey. Hello. What's up, Tariq? Let me just What's say, I'm, I'm a pay- all right, I'm good, I'm good. Calling out of, uh, you know, New York City. Spoke to you a long time ago. Uh, patiently waiting for your, your, your microphone check. Yes, to, uh, yes I'll indeed. Be there. I'll be there. Um, yeah, it's amazing, you know, how uh, <laughs> when it comes to, you know, white people, how they live, the guy he identified, I guess, the masses of maybe white people as libtards, you know, liberals. And you know, it's just interesting. They're the ones where, you know, they'll talk with you, eat with you, you know, sleep with you. And, you know, but when they got to pull the levers of enacting harm against people that don't look like them, yeah, they'll do it no problem. Right. You know? And right. be slick about it. You know, yes, it's saying, oh, we, we, we really feel for you. No. And, you know, they, they. All right. Thank you so much, bro. Let me land your plane. Shit. Okay. Y'all kind of get to the point. All right. All right. Rabbi. What's up, Rabbi? Yes, sir. Can you give me a minute uh, as I get situated? Hello? Yeah. Appreciate you. Thank you. Give me one minute. All right, let's get it together, man. You were there making a salad and shit. Well, let's get it together. All right. You want to call up and you ain't ready. What you over there doing? Are you on the toilet? What are you doing? Man, wipe your pussy and get back on and talk. All right. All right. All right, you good? All right. Yes, can you hear me? Hello. Yeah, you get everything wiped up? You good? <laughs> so, I mean, I was a little bit there, so I didn't want the connection to get uh, shaky. So, just wanted to let you know. But I guess it's all right. So, I wanted to say this is a very interesting space. And yeah. uh, the conversation so far appears very fruitful and pleasant. So what is African and the Caribbean culture? You know, you know, black people have a very interesting history, especially black American people who, you know, all of their history is, is different even from the Caribbeans who went in the slave trade because uh, your revolution and um, your civil rights era is very different than theirs. And I think you would agree. And 
the the foundational Black American movement, which I've recently discovered, is a very interesting and unique movement uh, to try and uh, forge out a, 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 a different identity is something that is unique to uh, Black Americans. A lot of other groups of people of your color will try and uh, come together to form a, a, a megalith, one big group. But you guys see the power in having your own group, which is something we, we see as well. So I want to give you guys props. For now, understand. what do you consider yourself racially? I consider myself a racially as a Jewish person. Now, why do white supremacists say that Jewish people are not really white? Well, well, they're technically correct, but depending on the situation, like uh, sometimes I, I, am, I am white by some standards. So in some situations, I will be uh, seen as a white person. And in others, I, am, I will be seen as a Jewish person. So Now, let me get, now, I got my white supremacist um, guy here. This is Nathaniel. Now, Nathaniel's a white supremacist, but he's a cool white supremacist. Okay. And he's always telling me, how you guys are not really white. Now, Nathaniel, Mr. Rabbi said that sometimes he is white. Now, what do you say about that, Nathaniel? Nathaniel. Turn the microphone on, Nathaniel. Hey, Uncle Tariq, can you hear me? I can hear you, Nate. What's going on? I'm doing great. Uh, nice event at the Eden, at the Black History Club last Saturday. Phenomenal. But I did want to talk about IQ. Let's go ahead and put this debate to rest. But no, I'm asking you about <laughs> the, the rest. Speak about the IQ? Are you are you are you questioning uh, IQ? Oh uh, no, I'm just talking more about whether or not uh, FBAs have. And equal oh, so you want to call out? See, I don't like people attacking uh, lesser groups or, or minority groups just because you, you want to attack uh, Tariq. But when somebody who has a higher IQ like me compared to you, you, you don't want to smoke with somebody who can put you in your place. So you want to punch <laughs> down on the lesser man. See, I, I, I will not allow black people in my presence to be attacked by a white supremacist like yourself. This is why I don't consider myself as white. Because I want to distance from the racist, from the hateful, from the heinous that these these people have brought upon this, this earth. But you think everyone should serve you? You're the one that calls all the war. You know, well, the, I've the never war. said and that. It, the, the yeah, but you blood. manipulate everything. You're the one that has the most slaves. Not white. White people Ooh, weren't that smart. We had the most slaves. <laughs> You're manipulating everything now in the world. <laughs> You're we, saying we a lot of things ourselves right now. Of you. I don't want to be anti-Semitic, but you know. You're what is your ethnicity? Race. What is your race? What is, what is your ethnicity? It's your none race? of your business. I'm human. Okay. Okay. See, see, they, they like to punch and take jabs, these white supremacist guys. Maybe, you know. I'm a black like, guy. How can I be a white supremacist? Tell me. They, see, they, confusion, they, manipulation okay, is what, what they can, do. Okay. No, you guys great. run the music hold industry, on. right? You, you sell hold trash on. to black hold youth. On. You fund it. You fund it. You fund okay, prisons. Okay, okay, you fund okay. prisons. Stop, stop. You fund. Let, you fund me address. the let prison me address. pipeline. Yes, we do. Music, we do. We do. We do. We do. We do. You okay, know? so 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 let me set this. Why up. are you here, Tariq? Please, Tariq, let me clarify. First of all, I love black people. I have I have many black friends. White, white ghost. ghost, hold on, white ghost. Hold on, white so ghost. I, have, I just want to, hey, hey, no, 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 no. Just, just give me five it. seconds. Just give me five seconds and I'm going to turn my mic off. I All just right. want to point out, I just want to point out that when Nathaniel started to, to talk about Tariq's IQ, the rabbi immediately said you, you, you that, that he had the superior IQ and he said that, um, that, that Nathaniel wanted to punch down on the lesser man. So basically, oh, the rabbi. Exactly. Exactly. The rabbi just called Tariq the no, lesser no, man compared no, to him. No, see, see. I just want to say, no, nah, no, nah, bro. He, he don't play semantics with me. Right? Don't play semantics with me. I'm not no. fucking stupid, bro. I heard exactly okay, what the exactly, fuck he said. Exactly. All right, all right, all right, I'm going to turn my mic off now. That's Thank all I you, wanted to say. You. So, Tariq, you. Tariq, you know, yeah. I, I've said marginalized uh, groups. When I said, when I meant lesser, I meant in those who have power in American society, those who are being oppressed. I don't mean intellectually inferior. If you want to uh, see, see, 
go to thought that because maybe that's where his mind state is. He has been so beat down by the white supremacists, he now calls himself the white ghost. Brother, you're black. <laughs> Let you me say black. this, because you're able to trick everyone doesn't make you smarter. Okay, so why do you think I am able to trick everybody? You know black Because people, you have. Look how you have the world if, fighting if, each other. If now. you look historically, black people, their number one ally, and I swear you can, this is a proven fact, it is Jewish people. If you, you are destroying our community who, with what you are doing. We with help your community. Industry. Do you know that? Sexy red is trash. Why are you promoting that? Let you are promoting that. Listen, All of the Jews, let the, me the wealthy Jews are promoting second. degeneracy upon the black community. Okay, so That's what this, you're investing in. Invest in our no. scholars. Invest in our doctors. We invest, invest in, in your scholars. By Why are you investing have... in clowns? Okay, so Gladiator, it seems you're very emotional, brother. I am very angry I because don't I see it for what it is. And okay, let me, okay, let me get, let me, hold on, because it's all over the place. Sorry. Let, let me, hold on, Rabbi, one second. Gladiator, you here? I'm here. Okay, now what's on your mind, Gladiator? Well, you know, they manipulate everything. Tariq, you know this. Are they paying you too? Um, because you know Ooh. they have their hands in everything in the world. Why? Why is taxpayer dollars going to Israel? He thinks I am so to, great. To, I have a chain around Tariq's neck. Again, I don't the have confusion a chain and manipulation Tariq. is what he they is do. Not my slave. Period. They I, had the I, most I, slaves, not listen, white people. I am not white people are our brethren. If you really think about it, we have okay. no problem wow. with them. Wow. And they it's separate just, us. Wow. When you divide, when you divide people, you conquer them. We've been conquered. We're serving Israel's war and genocide right now with our taxpayer dollars. It needs to stop. Okay, so so Tariq, let me please respond to this guy as he made a lot of accusations. And oh, I want to day. thank you very much, Tariq. So he thinks that we have so much power. We are some omnipotent God or whatever, as if I have a chain around Tariq's neck. Tariq is not my slave. Tariq, I do not own you. Tariq is a free man. Tariq is a free black man. He is not a slave of anyone, okay? So Gladiator, of course, he's a very emotional guy right now. He's saying even white people are more brotherly to him than Jewish people. The Jewish people make up 0.2% of the world's population. White people are 70% of the Americans, or almost 70% now, all right? They are the ones who are dilapidating your communities. They are the ones who are uh, harming your communities. They are the ones who have been lynching, killing, raping, enslaving black people all around the world for eons, okay? This is not something, and Tariq, you've said it. You've said the truth. White people were, were really barbaric until the coming of black more people out of uh, North Africa and, and, and liberating white people and teaching them to bathe themselves and clothe themselves. And, and even back then, if you go further back, it was the Jews who was teaching everybody, you know, the right way. So if you guys trying to portray us as some great villainous character is it's it's really it's really harmful rhetoric is anti-semitic firstly and now it, let's get it's right, let's, right. So let's get blend in here blend he, he's a another um low-key wannabe white nationalist blend hop on now we're getting there Tariq. Uh, we're americans me and you uh these jewish people if you look at the government uh they subvert so he said you're two percent of the population how come you are Overrepresented. No, brother, you can't listen. I said 0.2% of the world's population. Very, very... Okay, in America, what, what are you population in America and why are you overrepresented in media, banking, and most importantly, in Biden's cabinet? We're well, getting there, Tariq. We're getting somewhere with the Jewish people. Well, Biden, we'll blend. <clears throat> so the reason for this is it, it, it takes a certain capacity or a certain caliber of a man to run a lot of these spaces, Okay. So, Bland, you yourself are a white supremacist and a racist white nationalist, or, or that's how, you know, that's how you're coming No, I'm an anti-Semitic. I'm an anti-Semitic. Oh, okay. And you're but a soft-handed no. Jew okay, that's subverted so, America. I'm a proud American, and my family fought for this country only to have you guys with your dual citizenships. And the, the bottom line is, Tariq, we talk about supremacy. It's in their religious scriptures that they say they're the chosen people. Well, so when you, when you, you operate, are, are you the chosen people? 
Bullshit. Listen, Go back to your own fucking country then and stay the fuck out of America. Tariq, 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 Tariq what, which, which, people, which people were telling black people there are three fifths uh, human and two fifths monkey? Which people were telling black people there were slaves and, and could never reach any uh, status position? Which people were holding uh, black people, uh, feeding them chitlins, uh, uh, pig intestines, pig feet, uh, giving them food that was very unhealthy during the slavery era, giving them scraps? This That's the past. Who's people. bringing them sexy this red? Who's giving them sexy people. red? Sexy Who's red. Them... Okay. Which, Jewish which, which, businessman. Okay. Jimmy which... Iveen, Jewish. Okay. Jan no, Yellen, Jewish. It's, it's, CIA it's, director, Jewish. You know, I, I can't lie. I don't. But only 2% of the crazy. population. Wait, so where's the real white supremacy? This is what we're talking about, Tariq, and you're getting there. Okay, listen, listen. The real problem in America listen, is the listen, dual sorry. citizens running our government. Man, I have let you speak. You adhere to your chosen people. And your loyalty is to the Jewish population, not to the American. Admit it. Because you, know, you think me, you're choosing. You know, Just say me, it. If you want any evidence, it is look at all of the emotion and the anger these people come on with. I am coming with logic. I am coming with reasoning. I am coming but with... But you're not chosen over me, Rabbi. Then, you wear a fucking hat to, because you got a bald spot. Because one Jewish person had a bald spot. So you all have to wear a fucking hat so in the back just, of your head. You are not, you're not with, with me in any way. Because the difference is I'm in your face with it. And you need to be soft-handed and subvert. That's the difference. I'm American. Okay. You have a loyalty that is not to America. That is the issue. Well, I will tell you what. I will tell you what. If white people are America, I have no loyalty. Because you are the same people who have attacked and, 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 and hunted down. Well, why do you uh, need us to uh, fucking save you from the bear, uh, save you from the fucking bear, bear, barbarians see, over in uh, fucking the Middle East? You want us to save your ass. You want the FBAs to save your ass. See, look at this. So we don't need the Middle bankers East. and lawyers. We don't need Listen. bankers and lawyers and a bunch of fucking music executives. Executives. That's the problem. He called, think he they're called chosen our people. enemies. He called the people who are enemies barbarians. He dehumanized them. Even I would not call uh, as the Arabs uh, barbarians. This guy called them barbarians. Uh, uh, fucking backwards. I, I did not say that. I would not call these people. Right, go circumcise some fucking kids. Okay. okay. He's getting weird. He's a really that, weird guy. That, that's not cool. No. That's not cool. Hey, Amy, hop on, Amy. Amy. That's not cool. Yes. How are you, Amy? I've been better. How are you, uh, Tariq? I'm good. Yes, ma'am. So what's on your mind, Amy? Oh, I was just hearing you talk about me and all that stuff. And I was wondering if you had a question or, you know, an answer or whatever. Oh, also, I wasn't invited to the churches because I'm a lesbian. Like the Catholic churches and Baptist churches and Jewish churches. I I'm a lesbian woman, virgin. I'm 40 years old. I was born August 7th, 1983 at 6.05 a.m. Oh, and okay. I'm a Leo. Okay. So you said I was talking about you? Yes. Am I in the room with you right now, dear? Yes. What am I wearing in the room? What? Uh, it looks like a business suit, but have you ever been interviewed by a vampire? Um, well, yeah, the last time I was at your house, ma'am. You've never been to my house, dude. But you just remember, I'm a lesbian woman, lesbian yeah, woman. I, I can shape shift, I shape shift into so why the would you be in my house, boy? Because I shape shift, into you are a skinwalker, dude. You watch Skinwalker Ranch? I've seen it. Ma'am, I shapeshifted into one of your strap-ons. So, yeah, I, I'm in your house. I'm in there now. No, no, in, you're I'm not. Your or you be raping me. No, no, I'm in your dresser drawer, and it stinks in here right now. <laughs> so, what, boy? It smells, like, it, smells like, it smells like fish in a yeast infection. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> You ever wrestle with the alligators in Louisiana? Okay. Let's say huh? no to drugs, ma'am. Let's yeah. say no to drugs. Oh, Lord. Family. Y'all got to so stop. See, is that this white lady being, uh, you know, so hateful, calling you a skinwalker? Maybe she's insulting your skin color. This is a lot of them the way they think. It's not, it's not fair. The way white people view black people is honestly the most disgusting thing I have ever seen. The only thing that's equally disgusting is the way white people view Jewish people. And this is why I consider blacks my brothers, because it is us against the world. Uh, let's get um, not Wasso. Let's get not Wasso in here. Wasso, hop on, brother. 
chime in with me and the rabbi. Hey, how are you doing, Tariq? I'm good, man. How are you, sir? I'm good. We spoke before. Yes, I think I remember. But what's on your mind? I got I the a, rabbi. Yeah, I got a couple questions for the rabbi, actually. Go ahead. Um, why is in Israel uh, they didn't accept any black people when uh, Israel was created, actually? Ooh. Okay, so this is false. There are a lot of people known as the Falasha, okay, Ethiopian Jews, okay, Yes, yeah, so that's exactly what so, I'm talking about. Actually. So we have we actually took them out of Ethiopia, all right, to to bring them to our land. Once we were able to confirm that they had the lineage, okay. So when we when we found out they are our people, we said, hey, your skin color does not matter, even because you are the same ethnic group as us. So let's bring you back to the homeland, okay. All right, all right, all right. So let's that just say true. that's true. Let's just say that's true. My other question for you, and that's a a bit of a deeper one. You know, as you can see, I have a Moroccan flag on my uh, my picture there. Yes, yes, yes. I love Morocco. I've been to Marrakesh a few times. Absolutely. I mean, uh, you know, we used to be Jewish before Islam and all that. But my question for you is, why does Jewish people say that they were chased out of Morocco? Well, you know, I, I have actually family members who are uh, Mizraim, which is uh, North African Jews, right? Yes. So, so you know, and, and, and they were chased out. That is the reality. Historically, uh, there were points of time in which they were being expelled. Because That was not true. That was the work of well, the Mossad. That was the work of the Mossad. See, now you get into your conspiracies. This is what's wrong with white nationalists and uh, I am not white, sir. Yes, but anti-Semites. I am... Yes, I yes. am Semite. I am. They, I am Semite. I am the definition of Semite. Well, and North Africans are not Semitic. They are Berber-speaking people. What's the definition Semite. of Semite? Well, a Semite is uh, firstly, if you want to go by the linguistic definition of a Semite, it's someone oh. who speaks a Semitic yeah. language. You don't speak. Oh, because we're Semitic making language. up definitions. Okay. Uh, but is Berber a Semitic language, brother? No, it's not. Uh, is Amazigh a Semitic language? No, it's not. Then you are not a Semite. Be quiet. But, Don't... Hold on, hold on. What do, what do we speak in Morocco, though? Uh, well, you speak Arabic because you oh. are given that language. You are given that language. Okay? Oh, yes, oh, yes. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. We speak Arabic, but we're not. Brother, I, I don't want to bash you, or what do I say, bash you, because <laughs> if you just stay out of the way, you can stay safe. Why do you want to get in the line of fire? Okay, <laughs> and, and one last question, and Tariq, we, we spoke about that before. Yeah. Who trained the white nationalists in America? Um, shit, the white nationalists. Yeah, who who it, trained, uh, not the nationalists, sorry, the white supremacy. I apologize. Nobody, I mean, they trained themselves into being white supremacists. So okay. it wasn't a person. Okay, okay. There wasn't a group of people involved? No, no, it was just white supremacists. They all got together, different forms of people, and said, hey, let's smash down on these black folks and let's maintain a system called white supremacy. You had the Anglo, French, Spanish, um, Jewish, all different people who had white supremacist factions within their groups. So they all came together um, as a collective under the banner of white supremacy. I gotcha. I, I hear you loud and clear. Anyways, uh, thank you for answering my questions. All right, thank you so much. Hey, real, real interesting. So, so, Tariq, can I ask you a few things? Yes, indeed. And, and I want to bring this, these points up because it's, it's very critical and it's something that's dear to me. Yeah. African Americans, you know, your struggle is unique, as I've said before. There, there's only, uh, you know, if you look at your communities, it's constantly under attack. Your image is under attack, your reputation, your people. And, and if you look at around all around the world, the only other people who are really in the same situation is Jewish people. Now, Gladiator here is throwing thumbs down because, again, you know, it is what it is. But the reason why we are both under attack is because in Hebrew we have a saying. It's uh, which translates to uh, most hated is loved. Now, what does most hated is loved mean? In English, that will come out as he who is hated is the most loved. Which is what it means. So we who are hated by all of them are, are favored by God because we are, you know, again, a good people who are the meek. We are the weak. So now, we... but but some of the people they're making a point that you do have um, historically within Jewish society there is an anti-black segment that has been oppressive historically. You do acknowledge that, right? And I'll give some. Yeah, can you repeat that? Uh, sorry. I, yeah. Um, within the, 
community, within Jewish society, you do have an anti-Black element within the society that has been historically oppressed. Going back to slavery, the Judah P. Benjamins, who was part of the Confederate, who was a slave owner, um, some people who um, were in the NAACP who were Jewish, who actually spied on Black people, um, some of the the um, Levitt brothers who created the modern suburbs, they were putting in restricted covenants that wouldn't allow black people. And they went to the Supreme Court to keep black people out of those sub- suburbs and they were Jewish. So historically, you've had a, 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 an element within Jewish society that has been anti-black. And I think that's what a lot of the people uh, are pointing no, I, I, You know, I have to be firm against this because this is uh, absolutely... Uh, ludicrous, you know, to say the least, because it how is, so? I'll tell you how so, because Jewish people in the civil rights era have done instrumental work into uh, a furthering uh, liberation for Jewish people. I mean, uh, not for Jewish people, for black people, because if it was just black people fighting, listen, all of the Jewish things we do, uh, you know, some say, oh, you control the money, you control uh, the banks. Look at the people who give uh, black people EBT, welfare, uh, food food stamps, all of these things. All of these things. It comes, a lot of it is funded by liberal uh, Jewish views who who want people to eat. Even the stores, the cheap food uh, opportunities that are given in the black community, it comes from Jewish people. uh, uh, Stopping uh, the the increase of the birth rate so it does not uh, become detrimental to black people with abortion clinics. You can even think that to us in a lot of these uh, ways, you know, because this helps keep your population stable, keep your people healthy, keep you guys fed, keep you guys uh, clothed even because a lot of the homeless shelters that take care of homeless people is is, is, is taken care of by Jewish people. And uh, back in the day, a lot of the homeless people used to be a majority black, but thankfully we have lessened that. And now more homeless people are actually white. So we have diversified even the homeless population and, and stopped uh, the, uh, the gentrification happening in black communities. So a lot of this stuff, if you really look at it, we are really instrumental in, in, in changing black lives. Thank you. So you're saying that we got to give props to the, the Jewish community for giving us welfare and EBT? Uh, well, do you want to eat or not? Because if, if it's not for us, uh, a lot of blacks could not afford, at least in the time where white people were being very heinous and hot to you guys, there would be less opportunity for meals if it was not for government assistance in the feeding of the people. Okay, but but how did the Jewish thing tie in? That's the government. Uh, because we have done a lot of work to increase our ranks inside of the government legally and uh, and help uh, misfortunate communities and marginalize the people. Is so who is, who, so who's the Jewish president then? Uh, and then he, and, and yeah, who's is, is the leader for the Jewish people right now? Okay, He's talking about in the United States. How we? Uh, I'm not... Well, we don't have a Jewish president in the United States. Bernie Sanders lost, you know, a few a few uh, the times right. back. He didn't win, so uh, we don't really have that. Uh, that uh, we don't have that a Jewish leader. But yes. Trump, but Trump loves Jewish people. Biden loves Jewish people, so uh, we're okay. You know, we're not struggling yeah. in that department. There you go. Well, thank you so much, Rabbi. All right, <laughs> can can hop on can can. Well, good evening, Tariq. Good ev- everyone. I uh, really had a question for the Rabbi before he went off, but it's okay because I keep hearing him be repetitive about. Um, and also on his page, he's expressing that he his people have done a lot for us and saved us from things. And I was just wanting to know what were those things because it's vast, it's not specific. And I wanted to know the breakdown and examples of what he classified as his hero's moves. So that's all I wanted to know. But interesting. Interesting. All right, Ken. Thank you so much, beloved. Thank you, dear. <laughs> all right. Some very interesting conversation. Let me get Brother Sharif. He he's been having his hand up. Mr. Sharif, hop on, sir. Mr. Sharif. I'm good, man. How are you? Tariq, because I'm sure you get called Tariq a lot, but your name is pronounced Tariq. Tariq yeah. Nasheed. And I just wanted to have a conversation with the rabbi here because I have a lot of um things to say. If you could bring him back up, if that would be okay. 
okay, let me bring rabbi. He's very popular tonight. Let me get, let me bring the rabbi back up. We're talking with the rabbi tonight. Um, uh, uh, Tariq, did you drop me by accident or was that? Oh my end? god, rabbi. Okay, okay. So I have a, I have a question for you, rabbi. And please let me finish my question, okay? I want to ask Tariq really quickly. Was that accident or was that my end? I just want to know. Well, no, I, I wanted to get some more people up, but I, I okay, wanted to keep. Okay. The rabbi, but yeah, we got you back. But go ahead, Tariq. Okay, so rabbi, here's a here's a question for you. I've recently heard about this this tradition in in Jewish uh, religion, to where when you do a um, what's it called a uh, when you cut off the uh, what's it called Rabbi the uh, when you the, the you cut you you cut off the the, the the outer part of the penis of the baby. Oh no, this guy! What's okay, wrong no, with no, you? No, 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 no. So, so I've heard. No, 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 no. I don't want to know. No, we don't want to do. No, we ain't talking about babies. No, we're not doing that. All right, come on, guys, come on now. We don't want to do that now. Lord, okay, right, all right, all right. Now raise your hand if y'all got a question for the rabbi. We got the rabbi here. All right, let's get Ben. Ben has a question for the rabbi. All right, Mr. Ben, hop on, Ben. Yeah, I just wanted to report to you guys that this guy is posing as a rabbi. He's not actually a oh, rabbi. I, I'm not the actual below. rabbi. You guys just should because go through I his, Jewish, go through his fucking... No, no, no. Shut the fuck up. He's, you he's shut posing the fuck up. as you a rabbi. Going, he's this a groiver. I've dealt with this guy man. before. Just go you through dealt his timeline with me before. Sharif, you'll see Sharif, yourself. tell this guy. This guy is, a, is, a, is Dom full of shit. He's trying to fool all 900 of you guys. Go through his feed. And go find out for yourself. I'm done over here. Thank you so very you much. Dealt with this guy before. That, so that's he's his fault. He's I've lying. dealt with this. I've he's dealt with this guy before. He I goes swear. around. He tells people he's a rabbi. He's a really. He's really a groiper. Go through his fucking timeline. Thank you. Uh oh, rabbi, they didn't call you out. A groiper. A fucking groiper. You you think I am a white nationalist and the, those people? Now you are causing me to. Take oh, now you question. now you decide yes, to protect yes, your because, own post. Because, now because, you decide to protect your own post because I exposed your fucking eyes. Tariq follows so shut you. Tariq, your fucking Tariq, mouth. Tariq can shut see my post. Mouth. Tariq, Tariq, you can see my post because I follow you. So I have no, no, no. You just post. protect. You went all I, of a sudden went private because I exposed his dumb ass. This is exactly what you do. He's a little cagey agent. Shut your fucking mouth. You're not a fucking rabbi. You're not a fucking rabbi. Shut your fucking mouth. Shut your fucking mouth. Speak Hebrew, Ben. Ben. Speak Hebrew. How about you speak Hebrew, Ben? Speak Hebrew. Huh? Simus Yesh. This guy does not Shogar know anything. He is a scammer. He is a I'm, I'm a scammer, is, huh? I'm a scammer. You're because, nothing. Because, I just exposed okay, your fucking so, ass so, in front of so, 900 Tariq, people. Tariq, you're right? And now you're going to cry me. about it. Hold you on, can speak on. Hebrew, huh? Listen, let's Great. Be you're not. Let's, you're nothing, buddy. Let's you're not a fucking let's, rabbi. Let's so shut your fucking mouth. Stop telling people you're a fucking rabbi. You're not a rabbi. I just went through your entire timeline. I have everything. I have everything. I have fucking everything. Take a step shut back, man, because you mouth. are getting a very shut emotional. Shut your fucking mouth. You are getting shut emotional. Shut your fucking mouth. You're okay. Tariq, can you control this dog? He's acting like an animal right now. You're Please, fucking the disgusting. You're some self control. This, this is okay. not. This is not good, brother. Come on. What is wrong with you? So, Tariq, you follow my page. If you want to see my post, you can check if I am a grower, if I am a now, racist. Now, why do you, this, Rabbi? You just made your page private. Why did you make uh, it? But, but you can see because I follow you. I follow you, right? Yeah, can I see can't my... see it. You made your okay. page private. Well, uh, I, I will uh, follow. I will unfollow and follow you again, and maybe then you can see my page. Now, why would you make it private? What are you because, trying to... because I do not want all of. Unless you tell these people to not spam my mentions, then I will unprivate right now. Okay, I will unprivate, but I don't want uh, uh, one thousand people spamming uh, anti-Semitic shit in my in my in my page because that happened in the last space. I had to go and listen. I had two accounts spammed so heavily that I could not even function on my page because, you know, the, the hit and the anti-Semitism is so high in 2023, 2024. So, Let's get Zayo. Zayo, hop yes, in. Thank you. Yeah, hey. hello, can you hear me? What's up, Zayo? What's going on? I got What's a question. You? Yeah. I got a question for the rabbi. Do you know who uh, Donald Sterling is? Uh, I'm not uh, particularly familiar. Maybe uh, uh, tell me. I don't know. I think he, he's the owner of the Clippers, the basketball team. 
Oh, okay. Uh, carry on. I see where this is going. Okay. He's a Jewish man. Okay. And he was over there in Israel, and he was telling the people, he was telling people, I think, uh, in an interview, that the uh, the blacks in Israel get treated like dogs in Israel. So y'all, y'all are not an ally at all. There, there are people. There was a black group out, out, out there. They came, they came from out of America. They, they went to Israel. They went to, I think, uh, Dayoma, Dayoma, Israel. Dayoma. And they tried to, they, they tried to set up a civil, Oh my God! Whatever, how the fuck you feel? Yeah, I'm hot as fuck right hard. now. Are you sure you are in a coherent state? Yeah, but um, anyway, do do I hear? Do I hear? He trying to he trying to claim that he trying to claim that he an ally and shit. But they out there kicking them people out uh 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 Dayoma right now. They've been there for like 50, 50, 60 years. So and 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 then then Yahoo said that. Black pe- the the black youth in America are the number one threat to Israel. So how are you allies? Like I can go on and on about in examples how y'all not allies to us. But I also have a question for you, uh, Tariq. Yes, but I, I, I want I want him to reply to that right quick. You want him to reply? Yeah, I want him to reply to yes, that right quick. Are, I got a question are, for you. Listen, brother, we are allies of the Jewish community, and and I've and I've I've said a lot of a long list of all the ways in which we have proven our solidarity and our and our standing and our because we are standing with you and we are supporting with you. Uh, we we stand all the way with Israel. I mean, we stand all the way with the black community because if it was not for black people. Uh, uh, even us, is Jewish people, we would have a hard time because black people were very instrumental in uh, fighting for the freedom of all immigrants in America. So, uh, and I'm giving them their credit because these guys really deserve it. You know, even today, we can see that they still have a a, a, a pretty strong heart when it comes to uh, maybe not as strong as in the '60s, but we still have uh, brilliant people who are fighting uh, for uh, freedom. Yes, yes. So let's let's get that clear. We are definitely allies of African Americans. Yeah, y'all, y'all, nah, y'all, y'all, the synagogue of Satan out there, man. But anyway, yo, Tyree. Yeah. So, man, I heard about you. you the reparations rally going on. I'm gonna definitely be out there. But I just okay. got a couple. I, I just got a couple questions for you, man. Um, like, what do you? you I, I was in a space uh, earlier. Uh, I think sometime last week about um, federal versus state reparations. And I, I was just talking about how we should just really focus on. I, I feel like we should focus on the federal government more, on when it comes to reparations, so we can, we can, we can all get reparations all at one time instead of having to go state by state reparations. You know, I just feel like that'll be more more better, man. And I got one more thing, man. Why don't you and Yvette come together, man? If y'all both talking about reparations, like, come on, man. I just feel like. A, a, FBA and adults should come together, man. Y'all shouldn't be beefing and everything, man. That's that's what I really want to say, man. Dude, really, what what is Yvette Tarnell going to do? Constructive. I mean, just look at her track record. Let's be let's for real, for real. Let's cut the fuck shit. What look at her? What is she going to do? Constructive. I, I mean, you. I feel like. She has a part to play, and you have a part to play. She, you know, like I feel like, man, there's there's really no reason why y'all should be be beefing, man. Especially if we talking about reparations, we all we all black. Y'all should be coming together, man. And do what? Uh, like, like, let it be known. Like, invite no, her to no, invite no, her to no, the FBA rally. This is not true. Oh. This is she's, 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 oh. Zezo. What's your ethnicity? Hold on, bro. Hold on. Okay. Okay, bro. No, no, dude. No. I'm just saying we all black, we all fighting for reparations. Why not? That motherfucker is bad news. Why do you think everybody in her organization bounced? Everybody. Don't nobody fuck with her like that. There's a reason why. You can't we can't be kumbaya with everybody when they're trying to undermine shit. Yvette would have fucked this whole movement up if we let it up to her. I'm Let's not be- saying I'm not saying that like I'm not saying to like leave it all in her hands, bro. I'm just saying, like, at least I feel like I, I, I'm not she people, mama, and all of that. Don't nobody, no, that's not some shit we gonna deal with. Yeah, I'm just saying, man. I, I just feel like that'd be good. Listen, listen, nobody's stopping her from doing anything. How come she ain't doing nothing on her own right now? 
I mean, ADOS is still going on. It might not be as big as, like, you know, everybody not saying they ADOS more than they saying the they FBA. That's a dead brand. Ain't nobody rocking with them like but that. But I'm just right? saying, just for the media, media sake, too, that'll be good. Yo, they, they see y'all two shaking hands. Hell no. That's bad news. That one is a Democratic shill. No. I ain't not no damn down Democrat, Yvette, telling everybody to vote down Democrat. No. Yvette and Tone would have fucked this movement up if we left it up to them. Let's keep it a buck. And they're still trying to undermine shit. Well, this is no, this is some shit. We got this is a movement for riders, not democratic shills. We gotta understand when people are democratic shills. You understand? And they kept putting out way too much confusing information. That's why we, we've had to clean all of their horse shit up. Talking about a lineage is an organization and they're the leaders of it. That's confusing to people. No, I ain't with that. I've been consistent about everything that I've been saying. I've been, I'm, I'm all about consistency. I did no confusion. No confusion at all. When we talk about foundational black Americans, we're talking about a lineage. All that other shit, they talking about ADOS is their organization and they got applications and different chapters and but and they're the leaders, they're the mamas and the daddies and all of that shit. Then it's supposed to be a lineage, but it's they're the leaders of it. What what sense does that make? That's confusing. And it's horse crap. So no, 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 no. Dang, we can't build nothing with that. No. And let them do what they do. No, no, no. That is bad news. Bad news. We got to understand when bad news is out there, you ain't got to buddy up with bad news. I mean, y'all need to come together and do what? No, we don't. I want black folks to get off this thing. We got to come together with everybody. No, we don't. There's some people who are very detrimental to any kind of progress. People who just inherently fucked up. Yvette is one of those people. She's inherent. She's a fuck up. That's a lifelong fuck up. Yvette has never done anything successful. Never. The only reason she got any little shine is because of me. And I took that away and she's back to obscurity. Yeah. Let's keep it a buck. Do we have any strapolites in here? You tell me I'm lying. Everybody in her little organization saw her shitty, her personality was, and they bounced. Yeah? ADOS is a dead brand. They had their little, the last conference they had, nobody showed up. Yvette's, she had a whole new chopper suit that she had tailored for nothing. Nobody came. She got her tailored chopper suit for nothing. Yeah? No, we ain't got to come together. I ain't coming together with no damn strappy. Fuck wrong with y'all. Hell no. You got to understand when people are ops, man. Y'all, there's a lot of little behind the scenes shit that y'all don't know about either, man. There's a lot of little weirdo behind the scenes shit with a lot of these characters that y'all ain't even hip to. Dog, dodge, coin, doggy. Hey. Tariq, I wanted to circle back around to the rabbi, if you don't mind, real quick. Yes, indeed. Rabbi, let's get you back on. We got some more. So people. you had called the rabbi out and said he went private. And I was doing a little investigating. And uh, in the middle of it, he went private on me. And I did hear him say, correct me if I'm wrong, he said he would go back to unprivate. I heard oh, him yes, say that. You know, I will go. Let, let's, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, I've got actually a lot of followers. Let me accept these followers first, please. See, okay. you're, you're becoming a star, Rabbi. I wanted to get you on private, but that's all I had, uh, Tariq. I wanted to, <laughs> for him to go uh, on private so I could investigate. Thank you, sir. Well, you okay. can investigate, but I have a question for you, uh, Dodge. Dodge, are you by chance a white uh, nationalist or a white supremacist? No, dude, I'm just someone in here listening to you. Just I heard the one guy calling you out, so I wanted to do some investigating, and then you went private on me. I'm, I'm just uh, a listener like everybody else, man. 
You know, you know, there's a wise uh, 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 scholar for the Jewish community. His name is Maimonides. I don't know if you're familiar, but he, he has a lot of words for, for things like this. And there's this guy, Ben, again, raising his hand. Actually, is Ben black? Let me click on his profile. Right, I, I, I just want to black. say I'm, I'm, not, I'm not criticizing oh, you. I'm my just gosh. trying to, you, you went private. Oh, that's that's all I'm saying, man. Close Thank you. Okay, yes, I will come back off of private. It's all right. Uh, maybe uh, this guy, uh, as long as nobody insults me or says anything anti-Semitic, then I will come off of private. That's that's a fair thing to say. Because I don't want people, just like Tariq, I mean, it's understandable. If you are just a, an, an average guy and a lot of people come and drop the N-word or racist stuff in your, in your mentions, that's not very nice, is it? Nobody wants not that. Not at all. Christian, Thank you hear you. Christian? Yes, I'm right here. What's up, Christian? <clears throat> Hey, Rabbi, I just want to um, have a quick talk with you. I want to say thank you, number one, to the Jewish community. You guys have done great over the years in many different ways. Um, I want to say thank you for your advocacy and some of the wonderful things you guys have done. Some of the wonderful Jewish people who have stood with us arm in arm with MLK, Bernie Sanders, um, Harry and Jeanette Weinberg as some examples. Uh, I want to say really thank you for all of things that you guys have done. You guys have been really uh, pretty good friends over the years, just like we have stood with you. We want to say thank you for that. But I'd also like to ask you, though, Rabbi, why have you guys, you said you guys have a lot of power and influence with our government, and you've done, had policies that have affected us in a positive way, like welfare and EBT, you said. Wonderful. Why have you not used that power and that heavy influence to advocate for positive policies just like all the other groups that have come up. Why have, you not, why have you guys not used your power and influence to advocate for those same policies that other groups have gotten to come up? Not simply policies that put us on a parallel position, just in a survival mode only. I'm talking about coming up and uprising as a people, like many of the same so, policies so, so that, are, that are used for you. That's risky there, you see, because you said you don't want to be parallel, a.k.a. equal, and you want an uprising situation. Now, now, of course, if we are to facilitate this, this is uh, a civil war almost, it sounds like, or, 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 or a, a subversion of the current authority. And that's, that can only have detrimental effects for society at large. You, 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 Christian, Christian, you have to have perspective, brother. You cannot, because African-Americans make up, what, 14, 15 percent of the American population? Uh, not to say that you only deserve 15 percent of the success, but uh, to say you want uh, beyond the parallel footing is uh, it's, it's, it's a fetch. It's a stretch. I, I, under, I understand. I understand yes. what you're saying, there, but, but you've misconstrued what I said deliberately. That's not what I was saying right there. I wasn't saying being unequal to the others in our society. I was saying as opposed to having survival tactics where all we're doing is moving in a parallel position side to side, how about a more vertical? That's what I'm talking about, us actually yeah. coming up, not simply moving from the side because with welfare and with food programs, that doesn't uplift us as a people, that just maintains us in the exact same position. That's what so I'm saying. Maintenance. So this is actually critical. For growth, there needs to be stability. For stability, you need to maintain some things, whether you see it as uh, uh, sometimes beneficial or not. Because let's let's go back a couple of centuries. You know, when when other Africans were enslaving Africans, and you know, uh, uh, black uh, uh, Americans were being sold by Africans to the Americas. All right. Now at this point, it was very harsh. African Americans were, were were going through a sustained period of turmoil and struggle, and the same thing continued on in the lands when they come to America. But they have survived, they have pushed through, they have persevered, they have remained and resisted that entire time. And now, look, they are doing financially far better than these Africans. So, of course, they've struggled, but look at it paid off. So sometimes, you know what they say, uh, one of my African-American friends told me this, uh, is, 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 uh, you stay down for the, uh, something like that. You stay down until you can rise up. I, I forgot it, but it's, it's, it's catchy. It's a pretty catchy phrase. And uh, if you look at it from that perspective, then things go well. So you have to 
uh, uh, stay down until things can go well. Like, look at this guy. It's actually in the in the title, Kai Sinat. Look at the guy. He, he he's a, he's a, a Caribbean. He gets uh, some fame, some money from the African American community, and then he insults them and tries to say they have no culture, no history, no no lineage or anything of importance. They're all a bunch of slaves. I don't know if he says that, but he, he insults them very very poorly. And it's not it's not it's unbecoming of a man to say these kinds of things. So I like to uphold the honor of Africa. African Americans and my my black friends and yeah. Christian and if it's hard in the in your current situation just stand strong brother and maybe your 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 generations to come will thrive hopefully now my only question is do you also say the same thing for your own people just stand strong keep on persevering it's okay to be downtrodden and beat up you just stand strong and yes, use yes, heart because, is that what is that the same the message you give to your children and your people only- Yes, the only people who can relate to you in that situation is, is is truly and firmly, I believe, is Jewish people because we have been chased out of the the, the Holy Land for time and time again. We were kicked out of uh, dozens of countries, and people tried to kill us uh, dozens of times. You know, uh, but you have policies of up- upliftment, though, and that's what yes, I'm asking. Why don't you advocate but, for the same but, for us? Look, look, look. Let's go back uh, a few decades ago. Jews were getting uh, lynched, just like African Americans. Americans were getting lynched. Jews were getting uh, hunted like dogs and 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 and, and scalped their heads and, and killed and so much brutal stuff. Six million Jews were killed in, in Germany. And do you know the largest demographic uh, or the largest portion of the blood of white American people actually comes from Germany? And that even English is a Germanic language. So these people are still yes, Germans. indeed, yes, yes. They are still Germans. We are sur- we are surrounded by the same energy permeates through their blood. They still have that mindset inside of them you know how many white nationalists that's why i'm asking you hey are you a white nationalist are you a white nationalist because it is by and large so many white nationalists who are hounding my account and dogging my my ethnicity and chasing after us the same way they have uh, chased after black people for, for for decades and centuries so if there's really anybody in the world who can understand a black man it is a jewish man thank you well, I do thank you. I'll let it go right there. But more than just understanding, why don't you uplift, use policy of upliftment, the same that has been advocated for you, the same that you people use right now today. You should be advocating for those same policies of upliftment for us because you understand us so much. We parallel, like you say, you should be uh, the same thing that goes for you that has worked should be the same thing that goes for us, not just food programs. But I'll, I'll let it go right there. And I do thank you. Thanks so much, Tariq. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much. We got Ben back up here. Ben? Yeah, so hi, everyone. If you guys check out what I posted in the chat, you'll see that I exposed him, right? He has some anti-Black rhetoric. He has memes of George Floyd. He has some anti-Semitic rhetoric as well. I went through his entire profile. Let me finish speaking. I didn't interrupt you. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. So the moment that I exposed him, he decided to lock his profile. And listen, you can look at the comment section. I, I know when someone's being deceitful in front of an, an entire audience. This guy is a KGB agent. I've dealt with people like this in the past. Don't listen to anything he says. Fucking Russian he's just KGB agent. To... Brother, are you serious? Yeah. Are you serious? A yeah, KGB yeah, agent. for KGB. sure. Do you know? Okay. Do you know All that? Right. So All why right, would buddy. the KGB? All okay, right. This is what okay. happens when people ahead, get exposed, and so they have an emotional response. So this is exactly the tactic this guy is using. He's just trying to manipulate all of you guys. I doubt he can even do the Shema Israel or the Shemon or... The what, what are the... My name is Michael. When yeah, yeah, me. yeah. And, and my name is uh, Frankelstein. Your points, you can say anything. Your name right? is ben. You locked your profile. You're a groiper. I, I a groiper. closed your eyes. Listen, listen. So, so I I'm swear, just, no, no, no. I I'm just going to land, really land my plane really quickly. I'm just going to land my plane. I'm just going to land my plane really quickly. Right? I wouldn't take anything... It's a grain of salt what this individual is, ta- uh, is telling you guys what he's preaching. He's full of shit. I expose him. I've heard him in other rooms in the past. He has a distorted picture of a rabbi that's very pixelated. So, yeah, okay, you can probably so reverse. You can probably reverse image that 
that picture, take a screenshot, go on your phone, reverse image it. And on I Google. promise you, if you find it, I give you a hundred dollars. Yeah, 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 exactly. This why do you have, you why, as a find. Jew, wait, wait, as a Jew, why do you have Nazi propaganda and, and Nazi rhetoric all over your profile? That doesn't where, sound very where? Jewish. Where is, where is that? Where I is mean, that? mean, look at the clip. Look at the clip. I exposed you. I can't well, even You don't need to hide How anymore. So Post why don't you unveil, why don't you unveil, why did you decide to go, why did you decide to go private all of a sudden? Do you want me to answer the question? Why did you go? Let, why did you go then, private then, all of a sudden? Then, Hanan, let me answer. Let me answer. All, all right. right. So, go ahead. so, 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 so Tariq, you can agree yeah. with me. If an individual is being, uh, of course, we as humans have uh, the proclivity to want to be safe. We don't want to be attacked and insulted and degraded. So when people, he's trying to say that I have, what did he say? A groiper memes and, and George Floyd memes. Are you fucking serious? Grow up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Am, you guys, I am just old go to the to comment section. Father. Go to the comment okay, section. Okay, hold on. Ben, 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 listen. Be, so this listen, guy, what he's going to do, he's going to use an emotional speak. tactic. I am not and he's going to try to derail all... He's going to try to derail the entire and, conversation. Uh, this order, is exactly order. what they employ. Order, this, is exactly, please, this is guy order, is a order, chaos order, agent. Damn. Cheyenne, this guy please, is a chaos please. agent. That's why he's so, talking over so, me. Because he, he doesn't said, like getting exposed. It's not right? about exposure. You let me speak, then you cut me off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said you can answer, and then you started cutting me off. You're the chaos yeah. agent. I have been here uh, giving the. I have been here, the one uh, causing, calling for the peace for black people. There was white nationalists and supremacists who came on the stage and tried to insult and degrade. And what did I say? I have not. I have only defended black people my entire time. I have not said right. a single thing. You can. All right, all right. Let me let me wrap it up. This is going on kind of long now. All right, Cheyenne. Let me get you in real quick, Cheyenne. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's going on, Tariq? Um, question, yeah, question about, um, you know, as far as like the FBA stuff. Um, are Creoles, um, would you consider them FBA? Um, do they date back to the 1865 census? And uh, the yeah. second question is, um, what is your definition of having game? And I'll land my plane right there. Hey, yeah, having game, just having um, um, just a tight, quick mouthpiece, man. Just knowing what to say at the right time, when to say things at the right time. That's all it is. That's what game is. Oh boy, it's been a doozy. It's uh, it's it's been a doozy tonight. It's been a doozy. Very interesting conversations tonight. That's why I let it go on a little bit. Very very interesting conversations tonight. We got almost a thousand people in here. Shout out to everybody in here. Oh boy, let's wrap it up. Boy, y'all to wore me out. Anyway, man. <laughs> anyway, this is a very 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 interesting conversation. Um, now the movie microphone check is going to be out next month. Y'all need to come on through. Speaking of getting resources, we got the rally for reparations coming up June 15th. Everybody go to rally the number four reparations.com to get more information about that rally for reparations.com. All right. And um, go get your tickets for the movie Microphone Check in theaters nationwide in a few weeks. Memorial Day weekend, Microphone Check is on and popping. Go to microphonecheck.com to get your tickets now, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm up out of here. It's been real. This is the 50th anniversary of hip hop, and we still have a lot of discrepancies as far as the origins of hip hop, a lot of claims who did what, who was the first this, who was the this and that, and such and such. But at the end of the day, we need a definitive story, all right? And that story can only be told by the founders of this culture. Like everything was being driven and influenced by young, black, American culture. Like the slang, the style of dress, the initial uh, music that we chose. You look at uh, all the boroughs, you got, you know, money making Manhattan and money earning Mount Vernon and Crooklyn. The Bronx was the boogie down Bronx. We was partying up there. I am Coke LaRock, the first MC of hip hop. The first cat to pick the mic up. I introduced rapping to the turntables because when I came with it, nobody in the world was doing it. I'm right after Rudy Ray Moore. They want to come in the mix, they want to say, I was, we started. No, no you didn't. No you didn't. No you didn't. 
What came to be known as hip hop was solely an African American creation. What would you get out of some Jamaican toast? What is that? I've never heard of a rapper use a Jamaican toast or a Jamaican flu as a rhyme. I never heard of it, and I don't know where that myth came from. My name is Legendary Kane Trixie from the Bronx, BX, from the West Side. I am the first break dancer. That narrative that hip hop has had three founding fathers that's been rolling for the last almost 30 years, which isn't true. You don't have just three people who created hip hop. Hip hop was created by a number of different people. I am the grandfather, the godfather of the graffiti culture. I am the first element of hip hop. The roots of hip hop being Jamaican, absolutely false. My name is MC Shah Rock. I am a founding member of the MC slash rap culture. Cassette tapes was the internet of our time. It just traveled around by hand. Well, I know for a fact that the B-Boy stand started from the guards, the five percenters that would be at the jams back in the days who were acting as security. If they get the real truth of how it all was created, then so many lives would not be able to be in existence.